Assalamu alaikum my dear students of class 6. How are you all? I hope you all are fine by the grace of Allah. This is your teacher Ms. Kazal Rahil from Falcon House Grammar School Campus 9 and this is your Journal Science Unit. As we already discussed that uh, for the second periodical we have another uh, activity that is the project work that you have to do by your own project work is that you have to make a chart using materials that are easily available at your home. For this purpose, I have selected chapter number 2, Life and Living Things. This is on page number 16 of your textbook. Topics that we have covered in this chapter, I am going to a quick review about the topics that we have already covered in this chapter. Number one topic is life processes in which we have studied about that all living things have seven characteristics of life processes. Number one feet, two grow, three excretion, four movement, five respond, six reproduce and seven is respiration. After that we studied about the cells and I told you about cells is that all living things are made up of one or more cells okay some living things such as bacteria exist as a sang single cell that is known as unicellular organism and uh, however most animals and plants are made up of millions of cells joined together they are known as multicellular organisms afterwards we covered the topic of tissues and organs so we studied that a group of similar cells doing the same job is called tissue whereas different tissues combine together to make an organ and we also studied that organ work together to form organ system yes students organs work together in groups called organ systems some of main organ systems we have studied uh, of, of the human body we also studied about it and then we studied about the sense organs in which we covered about sense org organ includes eyes ears skin and nose and tongue for making chart i have selected organ from the organ system in which we studied about the breathing system I told you that breathing system exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide. The main organ is lungs. Then we studied about the digestive system which breaks down food into small molecules and absorbs them into the blood. Afterwards we studied nervous system which carries messages around the body. Then we studied excretory system which gets rid of poisonous substances from the blood and controls water level in the body. Then we studied about the circulatory system that transports substances to all parts of the body. So students, what you have to do, you have to draw a label diagram that I am going to show you right now. Yes, the components of the digestive system, you have to draw this diagram on the chart for the project work. Okay, for that purpose, what you have to do, you have to use different types of materials which include sand, buttons, beads, rice, lentils, chickpeas, threads, whatever you want. You can use it for the coloring purpose. If you don't understand the concept, we will gonna discuss about this project work in our Zoom sessions also. So don't worry about it. Okay, this is for all to for today's lecture i hope it's clear to all of you thank you for joining thank you for watching stay blessed take very good career of yourself allah hafiz fi amanullah